All right, so now let's do an example of a truth table that has three statements. So the first thing you need to know to plan is that since we have three statements, we'll have two to the third rows, so eight rows. Look how I have it set up. P, Q, and R, we're going to go in alphabetical order. For P, since I have eight rows, the first half, first four are true, last four are false. For Q, I alternate, twos, two, right, two true, two false, two true, two false. And then R alternates every other. Again, a tree diagram will show you all of these possibilities as well. Okay, so let's see the gory detail here, all the pieces I need. So I need a not P, so let's go ahead and do that first. So not P. So not P just changes the truth value of what P was. So all the true, so I'll have four falses, because I started with four trues, and then I'll go to four trues. So it changes the truth value. Okay. So the next thing I want to do then is not P and Q. I'll have a whole column for that. So not P, so I'll be using this column, and then my Q column. So and means they both have to be true to get a true in this column. So a false any place makes a false in my end answer here. So let's see, I'll put my fingers and run down the columns. True and false is false. True and false is false as well. False and false is false. I need two trues to get a true over here. I'm not having very good luck. Four falses, ah, there's a true, excellent. And there's another true. Oh, shucks, I have one true but not two, so that makes that false. And same thing here, false. So here's the first part of my if-then statement. I think we call that an antecedent. So now I need to go if this, then not R, which means I guess I need a not R. Okay, let's go ahead and put in our not R. I'll grab a new color. So not R. So I need to change the, go to your R column and change all of the truth values. So remember R was just alternating, so I'll just do that again and just start with false. So false, true, false, true, False, true, false, true. If you're not good at staying in the lines, use lined paper. And now I'm ready to if then. So if the purple column, then the red column. Remember, if thens go, if the first one is false, it doesn't matter what comes out on the second one. The answer is true. If the first one is true and the second one is true, the answer is true. Our only false is if the first one is true and the second one is false. That's our false one. So let's see. Here we go. Let's see, so this is our if then, our answer column, not P and Q gives not R. Okay, so false in the first column, I don't care what happens in the second, my answer is true. False there gives me a true. False here gives me a true. False here gives me a true. Not even looking at the not R. It doesn't matter. That false in the antecedent position gives me a true answer. Okay, here's my next one. I have a true in the first and a false in the second. Ah, there's my only false. True, true. If true, then true. That's true. And I have two falses there. Again, it doesn't matter. If the first is a false, it doesn't matter what happens in the second. So again, here's my answer. Be careful, it's trying to be a tautology, all trues, but it's not because I have that right there. So that one false keeps it from tautology, always true.